I again, I just woke up from a nap. Because, oh, man. It's now 3.40 in the afternoon. And we're going to be going to Super Bowl party. We're taking pudding shots, which I just ate one. I had to test it. You had to test it, don't you? And broccoli salad and chicken wings. I don't know what else everybody else has taken. But I went and accomplished my goal today. And I would show you, but... Um... Okay. I got a new kitty. Her name is Fluffy. That's a name that she's had. She is nearly a year old. And I did not want to change her name again. And my mom's like, well, at least she has a name and it's not a girl cat. Um, she's got longer hair and she's really soft. But she's, um, we first brought her home. We had her in a little pet carrier. She's never been around dogs. So her and Heidi did the whole sniff through the gate thing. And um, Heidi never barked at her. But the cat's just like going Rrr. But I opened up the door and then the cat sat in there for a while and she peeked her head out and she wandered out and, and Heidi just wanted to follow her. She never tried to hurt her. Never tried to bother her. But um the cat's kind of like what the hell is that thing? And um and then she jumped up on the couch and walked behind mom's head. Then I picked her up and took her to the basement because I wanted to show her where her litter box and food and water was. So I showed her where the litter box was. Then we went into my bedroom and we were she was up on the bed. And then um there was a noise upstairs or something. And then she kinda jumped down and wandered off. Now she's hiding somewhere down there. So kinda like probably probably asleep now. But our basement there's like boxes and things so I don't quite know where she is down there. But I'm sure she will come out when she is getting more comfortable. But, uh, so when she is uh, comfortable in the house, I'll bring her in here and put her on video. I had, okay, I had my video camera with me today. I did not turn it on. I had it in my coat pocket. We walk out to the little barn and <laughs> they open up the door yeah, cats. It's not really a barn. They have like um, a heated, it's like a tiny barn. Almost like a big shed, but tiny barn. They had a few rows of stacked hay. And then they had several litter boxes and food. They mainly keep that little thing for the cats. Um, and they have a veterinarian that's working with them to get them all fixed. For a reasonably inexpensive fee. And so, um... She's been taking them over there in groups of like four and six because she's trying to get them all fixed and then try to find them homes. They have two indoor cats. And so I even got to see this one's mama as we're walking out. She goes, hey, see that one over there? I'm like, yeah. She goes, that's Fluffy's mama. So, um, yeah. Because they were all kind of, all these cats were sitting on the hay bales when we walked in. And I said, okay, girls, because this woman who I got Fluffy from has two girls who are like eight and ten I said which ones are the girl cats because I really want a female cat so and there was one that was pretty it kind of reminded me of Nohia Beth it, it looked very similar to her I said well what kind what, is it she they're like it's a boy I'm like okay so um and then they showed me one that looked like a tomboy gray tiger cat and that was a girl and I'm like that was nice and then I saw Fluffy sitting on the hay bale, and I'm like, what kind of cat's that one? Is that a boy or a girl? And I'm thinking, please be a girl, please be a girl. And they're like, well, she, that's a girl too. And I went and picked her up, and, and she ha has already been fixed. Because there are quite a few of the cats that the vet call and say, okay, bring us four to do, and bring us, you know. And because uh, they're taking a batch of girls over next week to get fixed. And she, and she said, well, that's one of the cats that we have that's already fixed. And I, and she, you know, she sat there and let us pet her and you can pick her up and she doesn't like, you can tell when she gets a little uncomfortable, but you know, I'm a stranger holding her. If some stranger wanted to come up and just pick me up and flip me around, I wouldn't like it. And so, um, so 
So I'm like, I want this one. And my, my dad's like, you wouldn't pick the long haired one, would ya? So that's what I got today. A new kitty cat. And I have no photographic evidence of it yet at all. Man, I'm trying to wake up. Okay. So that's what I did. Hopefully you'll see her soon. And um, hopefully her and Heidi will become fast friends. Although the first meeting with them went really well. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more than that. I mean, neither she never tried to but even claw at Heidi. She just growled a little bit. I think she spit at her twice, like, but, um, but once she came out of the little, walked out of the little uh, carrier thing, she just kind of looked around, and Heidi was looking at her like, what is she going to do? So, it went well. Okay, 345, I gotta go. I think we're leaving in an hour, maybe. I don't know what's going on.